concealed carry, we all like a gun that's easy to carry, but small guns are sometimes harder to shoot. Stephanie, this looks like a small 1911, and one of the things that jumped out at me is this front sight. Tell me about the 911. Yes, this front sight right here is our Pro Glow Tritium front sight for quick and easy targeting. And this is basically a little 1911. Springfield Armory has a lot of history making that gun. Yes, we've had a lot of practice, so we really wanted to make sure that this uh, shot and felt like just a very small 1911, so virtually no recoil. And a smaller caliber. This one's in 380. Yes, exactly. So it's a really great pocket pistol, great backup gun option. Um, and we're all really excited about this introduction to the platform. Well, we have different models here. What's the one I have? This is our introductory 380. So it has the thin line G10 grips right there. And the one I have has the Viridian green laser integrated into the grip already. So it's just grip activated and you can set it on a few different modes. And you can get that directly with the gun when they buy it. Yes, correct. A small 380, the 911 from Springfield Armory. Rob, you guys have been making defensive pistols for a long time, but you've never made a 380 before. No, we've never gone into that small and the light, cal light of caliber. It's always been nine millimeters, been the smallest before this. Well, I mean, this is a perfect concealed carry gun. Defensive distance shooting is pretty close shooting, right? right? It is. And one of the reasons I've never liked the little guns is because I've never liked little guns because they're hard to shoot. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that we really addressed with the, the 911 is to make it easier to shoot. So come, you have two different mag sizes here. Six rounder and a seven rounder. Have the little, uh, the little pinky nub. Yeah, you know, the same old thing with little guns. We make them as small as we can and maybe you don't like it that small. You can, if you're not actually gonna stick it in your pocket, you can use a seven round mag, which will give you seven plus one. Yeah. And it's a little bit more to hold on to. So let's, uh, we have three large, tall bad guys down there. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's set up, let's do a little quick shooting, multiple bad guy targets. All right, let's do it. Rob, that gun does not move. No, it's very, very easy to shoot. Like a 1911, which I'm really used to, it has a thumb safety, has a nice short, clean trigger. The things that a shooter likes in a gun is in the 911. And the sights, too. Oh yeah, very easy to see. You know, yeah. they're nice, big and blocky. Perfect for this kind of a shot. Well, that's what it's designed for, but it'll do more. A little gun like this can shoot at distance. This particular gun will surprise you how accurate it is. Let's take a look. Okay, Rob, we've run the target back to 50 feet about 17 yards or so. Let's see what we can do. For a little gun, more accurate than it should be, right? It does not have to shoot that well, but it does. The Springfield 911. 